Hey guys, welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. This time we're going back to the cloning. Um, in my last video I showed you how to clone using masking, which is exclusive to Sony Vegas Pro. Now for those of you that have Movie Studio or Platinum, your version does not include masking and therefore you cannot do uh, that form of cloning. Now there is another alternative. You can still clone even if you have Movie Studio or Platinum, but it's a lot more difficult and uh, it's just not easy but you can still do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it today without masking. So in my project media tab I have my two clone clips like I showed you in the last video. Even if you have uh, Movie Studio or Platinum you might want to check out my last video anyways just so that you get the basic idea of what the cloning is. So in my project media tab I got my two clips. I'm going to click on one, hold control and click on the other and then drag them both in. And let's uh, insert a new video track and put this clone on top. So uh, this clone on top will be the one on the right, and then the one on the bottom will be the one on the left. Now what we're going to do is go to our event pan and crop tool. It's this little white square right here. And to the left we have all these options here. Uh, yours might look different, but the ones that you want to have checked and unchecked, or enabled and disabled, you want to have normal edit tool enabled, and then everything else disabled. Specifically, uh, lock aspect ratio and size but center, these both need to be disabled, otherwise it won't work correctly. So right now we're editing the top clip, and the top clip is the clone that is going to be on the right side of the couch. So we're going to put our mouse on the this left uh, thing here, and we're just going to click and drag it so that it covers the right area of the couch, like about there. We can edit it later, if necessary. So now uh, it's just covering this entire right side of the screen, and we can now exit this. And now let's go to the bottom clip, the one that has the clone on the left side of the couch. Let's go to the right side of the clip, click and drag this, and make our own little box around the left side, of the, the left uh, part of the couch. Now in the video preview, it's not looking too good, but if we go to this track motion icon here on our video track, so let's go to the top of the top video track and hit track motion, and then just using your right arrow keys, just push it until that uh, your clip is all the way to the right so something like that you can edit it later if you need to so there we go you have something like that we're going to do the same thing for the bottom track just go to this track motion icon up here and this time we're going to push it to the left and i'm just using my left arrow keys it helps to use the arrow keys because then it it's a lot more accurate because if you're using the mouse you might accidentally drag it up and then just uh... push it until it looks like it matches like right there it looks pretty good now uh... Let's play this back. I might have to do a RAM preview. Okay, this should be pretty good. So here's the clones, and they both come into the couch and sit down. No masking required. Now, the reason why I don't like to do this, uh, the reason I don't like to do cloning this way is just because it's a lot more difficult, and uh, you can't feather either, so if you're having different lighting, uh, you can't really feather anything. But you can change the brightness and contrast and the levels and stuff if necessary. Right now, it's looking pretty good. And another thing I want to discuss is, like, if I uh, pause it about right over here, as you can see, look at the clone on the left. His arm kind of swings as he sits on, and uh, it kind of cuts off right there. And if you're doing the pan and crop method, there's nothing you can really do to avoid this, except uh, just make sure that they don't cross paths while shooting. But if you're using the masking method, which I uh, highly recommend, uh, you can just make the mask inside a bit of that area like right here where his arm is missing just uh... you know when you're doing the mask like you'll go oh here here you'll just uh... make it inside right there so that his arm is uh... visible and then you'd feather the masks as usual and it will look a lot better so that's basically it that is how you uh... clone using movie studio or platinum or you can do this in pro as well but you're not going to be using masking of course so uh... if you have pro i highly recommend doing the masking version just because it's so much easier but if you have Movie Studio or Platinum, all is not lost because you can still clone. So that's about it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. But until then, see you later.